Hi, Chris Albanese, Director of Education, Real Estate Academy of Orlando, back with some more math help here. Uh, the question we're looking at next is uh, everybody's favorite question. This is calculating the commission received by the sales associate. So let's take a look at the question here. A sales associate, while working for the broker, acquired a listing for $325,000 at a 6% commission rate. A second sales associate who works for another brokerage office found the buyer for the property. The listing and selling brokers agreed to a 50-50 split between the two offices. The property sold for the listed price. Uh, the selling broker kept 40% of the commission received by the selling office. How much did the selling office sales associate receive? So this is a, a fairly straightforward scenario that we see in everyday life uh, in real estate. But uh, what I want to do is just give you a diagram here of exactly what's happening. Now what we have is we've got the house that was listed here. Now uh, many times and in most cases the uh, listing agent takes the listing but they're going to put the house in the multiple listing service so the MLS and most MLS's require if the listing agent is putting the listing in the MLS for other brokers to show that they do have to offer some compensation. Now, splitting the commission 50-50 is not a requirement, but in many cases, uh, we do see that. So in this case, the listing broker put the house in the multiple listing service. Another broker working for the buyer found the property, brought the buyer to see the property, and ultimately the buyer wanted to buy it, and they wrote a contract. So now we have two different real estate offices both working together to close that transaction. You've got the listing agent representing the seller, and you've got the buyer's agent representing the buyer. Uh, but what we have here is uh, just a different terminology. Uh, the selling broker represents the uh, buyer because they're not representing the seller. The selling broker represents the buyer. Without the buyer, no selling happens. The listing broker represents the seller. Now this is where a lot of students can get confused. So just make sure you have the terminology down there. So selling broker represents the buyer, listing broker represents the seller. So now that we've got that, let's take a look at the math problem itself. Okay, so to start with here, we're gonna take the total sale price, the $325,000. So that is the price of the house, 325. Now they tell us the commission here is 6% and that's 6% of the sale price. We can do two different things here for our next step. Uh, we know that we're gonna split the commission between the two brokerage offices 50-50. So we can start now by multiplying it instead of by 6% by 3% but we're already taking into consideration that we're going to split off the other half and give it away. Uh, or we can just keep moving forward and do that later. So that's what we'll do for now. So we'll take the $325,000, we'll multiply that by 0 0.06. This is our 6% commission, and that gives us a total commission of $19,500. So now we have broker A and broker B, the listing broker and the selling broker, and we're going to split that 50-50. So we're going to cut this in half. So 19,500, and I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.50 or 50%. There's a number of ways we can do that step. We can take uh, 19,500 divided by 2. That also does the same thing as multiplying it by 0 0.50. So multiplying it by 0 0.50 or divided by 2, and we have a commission of $9,750. Now, that's the total amount of money that's coming to the selling broker. This is the buyer's broker. Now, the buyer's broker is gonna take a portion of that. In this case, they say the broker is keeping 40% of that. So that means if the broker's keeping 40%, how much is the sales associate gonna receive? That's gonna be the other 60%. So again, we can go in a couple different ways for the final step here, but in our case, since we know the broker's keeping 40 and the agent is getting 60%, we're just gonna work with the 60% that the agent is going to keep. So we're gonna multiply that number times 0 0.60. And now this means our uh, sales associate who was representing the buyer at the selling office is gonna be receiving a commission check for 5,000 eight hundred and fifty dollars so fifty eight fifty pretty good paycheck 
So I hope that answers your question uh, regarding the commission split here. If you have any other questions, please write to us at info at reaaorlando.com or visit us online at uh, realestateacademyoforlando.com. If you have questions for other math problems, please send it in and we'll do a video for you. Thanks again.